Hey geeks, if you were around when DVDs first came out, you probably knew how exciting it was, especially for someone like myself who was a collector of movies. So before that, I actually had VHS tapes. I even had some beta tapes. And then I got a laser disc player. I got a Pioneer laser disc player. And for anybody who remembers collecting movies at that time, laser disc was the best when it came to quality. And then when this whole idea of a DVD started coming out, people got really curious because laser discs were really huge. It was basically a big CD. And then when we heard about DVDs were gonna be about the same size as a CD, we're thinking like, uh, I don't know if it's ever gonna be better than laser disc. But wow, whenever the first Laserdisc players came out, I was really excited because when I saw this at the store at Best Buy, I knew I had to get one. And well, I ended up selling my Pioneer Laserdisc player, which I really regret to this day. I wish I would have kept it. And I got a Toshiba DVD player, which leads to the first movie that I ever bought with my DVD player. And that is this right here, Species Part 1. I know it sounds crazy, but whenever DVDs first came out, there weren't really a lot of movies. And at the same time, you know, I wasn't like some rich kid. I was still going to school. And so I had saved up enough money to actually get the DVD player, which was around $500, which was really expensive in those days. And the movie selections wasn't that great. So I decided to get Species. And this is not the original copy that I had. I wish I had it, but this is also a DVD movie. And whenever I saw this, I was absolutely blown away not by the movie but by the overall picture quality it was so amazing i couldn't stop screaming how incredible this looked on my sony trinitron tv i think it was a trinitron at that time and it was absolutely mind-blowing because you got to remember laser this at least for me was the pinnacle of quality. I just couldn't see how it could get better, but DVD proved me wrong. And the movie itself, Species, it was kind of like, uh, I would say like a B movie, you know, sci-fi classic, you know, one of those that had a cool premise, but you know, it wasn't gonna win any awards. And I primarily got it because it had this whole alien feel with it. And also Natasha Henstridge uh, being the lead actress. And whenever I watched this, it was, an okay movie, okay? Most of what I enjoyed out of this was the fact that I was watching this on this brand new DVD player, getting it at amazing quality, and I probably watched Species dozens and dozens of times. Not really for the movie, but actually for the picture quality and also the sound quality. So at that time, I had a little home theater in a box in my apartment, and it was probably the best movie experience I ever had at home at that point. And ever since then, obviously, I fell in love with DVDs and, well, the rest is history. And now, well, I have Blu-rays and who knows what's going to come after that. Probably nothing in terms of physical, but this was really a great memory. So Species is the first movie that I got for my DVD player whenever it was first released. And it's always going to hold a very special place in my memory. And at least for me, I'm probably going to get the Blu-ray of this just because, I guess for nostalgia's purposes, and also keep the original Species DVD as well. And there is a sequel to this, but honestly, you don't really need to watch it. And so those are my thoughts on my first experience of not only my first DVD player, but also the very first DVD movie that I purchased. So if you actually had any thoughts of this or your own experience with DVD, be sure to leave in the comments area below and if you did want to see more of my movie collection videos, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on another episode. Hey geeks, if you are a brand new creator and you simply want something easy to get you started, well, I got something for you with my Creator Starter Kit. This is a super simple step-by-step -step guide that's going to take you from having no channel to developing your very first YouTube channel along with ideas, thumbnail designs, and other creator tips including marketing. And the best part is all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and get started creating.